Brain health depends on and is reinforced by periods of high heart rate. Failing that, brain capillary health is compromised, neurons are lost. The shearing forces of fast blood flow, the mechanical stimulation itself, exerts distinct biological effects. When these shearing forces reach blood vessels at the blood-brain barrier, they stimulate the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, supporting the health of the brain. We have tiny blood vessels in the brain. So if you don't exercise, if you don't make sure that your heart is pumping at a high rate uh, regularly during the week, those tiny vessels that are even smaller than your hair in terms of diameter, they will start to collapse. And you, you're going to have, and remember the capillaries, it's, it represents 90% of your brain vasculature, all these tiny blood vessels. So if you start not, see if you don't do enough exercise, you, you will start chronically to have some vessels that will uh, basically constrict and collapse and disappear. Meaning that the surrounding neurons that are here uh, and they need oxygen and, and, and nutrients and everything from these vessels, if these vessels disappear, you're going to lose neurons, right? So exercise is the number one thing. You have to, to, to do that, not only for the brain, obviously for the heart, it's true for the eyes, obviously. Or if you don't exercise, you're going to tend to lose eye vision quicker than a normal person, person as you age. But very important for the brain. You're going to, you're going to turn, uh, you know, but if you're prone to go to cognitive decline, because let's say you have a major genetic risk, but if on top of that, you don't exercise, you're going to accelerate, as we know from study. One of the biggest thing we have to to put that um, you know we have to put to the world like okay we need to exercise that no matter what I mean if you want to stay healthy in terms of brain function yeah no other choice.